Well, we have a respectable start to our new capital, but the time has now come for us to make some tools. Of course, I will need to obtain uh, some flint before I can even begin the process of making tools. Let's see, 10 pieces of flint ought to do the job. And I will need some stencils. Let's get a tool rod. I believe I'll need a tool binding, the pickaxe head, the shovel head, the axe head, it would appear that we may have some difficulty with the sword, so the knife will have to do the job, and then a crossbar should finish things off. Now, first things first, I need a pickaxe, so let's make the pickaxe head. And go ahead and get myself the binding and the rod. And let us proceed to make the pickaxe. And let's call it in it pick. It is, after all, the first pick, not necessarily the last pick that I'll be using, but it's where I will begin. Uh, secondly, I need an axe and a shovel, and actually I need one more of each of those. And then two Well, a quartet of tool rods will do the job. So let us make the hatchet. We will make the shovel. And we will make this tool called a mattock. We will have uh, use of this mattock. I, if memory serves me right, the mattock has something to do with farming. But we'll get to that in a bit, I'm sure. And finally... Let us see if I cannot make do for the knife. I cannot make a crossbar. Uh, yeah, I cannot make the crossbar out of flint, so I will have to make it out of wood. And yeah, a simple dagger. And that at least gets us a, a simple set of starter tools. Of course, after cutting down a few trees, my chest is looking a little bit full. I should also mention that there seems to be a native village uh, not too far from here. And I hope they're not too offended that I raided them for supplies. But before I go any further, I need a little bit more storage space. So let us craft another pair of chests. And it looks like not everything will fit in that first chest, which is why I crafted the second chest. Now, I also need to... It would appear that I cannot mine coal with this pickaxe directly. Fortunately, there is a way to make it so that this flint pickaxe can mine coal. I just have to mine up a bunch of things that aren't coal with it first before I can mine coal with it. But I do think now would be a good time to get some sleep. There we go. And before I start a mining expedition, I feel it would be appropriate to actually start a little bit of agriculture. And... Actually, this may not be the preferred place for a farm, is it? Let us begin with uh, some wood. And let us put up cobble on the water artichoke seeds. 
Then I will go ahead and grab some regular seeds. And then I will turn this wood into planks, into sticks. And then I will create crops. And it looks like I don't yet have enough crops, nor am I particularly interested in getting more crops at this time. There is a respectable body of water here, which is the ideal place uh, to commence my farming. Uh, it will be a little bit of work to clear out this area, but nothing I can't handle. Let's begin with the 4x4 square. That's all I have room for at this point. There we go. One block I didn't necessarily want to plant yet, but I will make do. Let's go ahead and plant the rest of these seeds. I know I have a lot of work to do before I actually have a uh, respectable harvest. Although, come to think of it, this chicken would be a good test of my dagger. Okay. That worked pretty well. Anything else I could test the dagger on? Squid. Perhaps a squid would be a better uh, choice for a dagger test. It does have a bit more health by default. So... Yeah. It's, uh, it's a respectable start, at least. It's not the ideal weapon, of course, but it will do for now. And now that I've got some crops growing and uh, a pickaxe, with which I need to do some mining, I may need some time to go mining. Well, it would appear that there is a uh, respectable way to repair uh, these tools. Let me actually go ahead and use this flint shard. I have use in repairing the flint matic, yes. And actually, is it enough to repair the pickaxe? Almost completely. I'll take it. As you can see, we are close to leveling up the mining level. Which means that with not too many more uses, I should be able to use this to mine coal. Along with a couple of other things. And as you can see... That's not the mining level modifier, but a uh, tool level modifier that has given me improvements to this tool. But I shouldn't be far. There it is. And now I should be able to mine coal. There we go. And now that I'm starting to get some coal... Obviously, I'll want to get a bit more coal, but now that I have coal, I would not be remiss in using it to make some torches so that I can light up this town. In fact, yeah. Oh, well, looks like there's a creeper inside the palace. Thankfully, I can hit him through the window. There we go. Excellent. While I'm at it, there's that one there, yeah. Obviously, there's going to be other coal that I'll need to go mining for, but before I do any further mining, I could really use some torches. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some torches. Just need some sticks. Combine it with some coal. Et voila, the torch. And let's go ahead and start lighting uh, things up around here. The tool center exterior and interior.
And finally, allow me to make my way over to the Royal Palace and get this lit up. Yeah, I know that's an ugly placement for a torch, but I'll get that sorted out uh, later on. For right now, the priority is food. But even before that, I would not be remiss in crafting a furnace. Which I will go ahead and place in the tool station, but let me first go ahead and grab myself some wood. go into the tool station now while that's cooking up let me go ahead and get my inventory cleaned up again it's a definite start I want to hold on to the dagger now let me just go ahead and uh, Hold on to the chicken while I'm at it. I could really use a second uh, furnace. So let's go ahead and craft two furnaces. There we go. Now, let's place some raw chicken in the furnace. I could really stand to cook up some food. So let's take that first bit of charcoal and use it to start smelting the food. In the meantime, these berry bushes aren't exactly growing quickly. A little bit unfortunate. Let's see how our farm is doing. Maybe also see if I can't do something with those squid. Yeah, it's not growing fast. There we go. A little bit more raw squid. There we go. And even more raw squid. Let's kill the rest of the squid in this little pool here. There's one more to go. There we go. Yes, I did get those squid plant seeds. I don't necessarily know what they'll be used for. I suppose that's something I'll figure out later. At any rate, let's head back to our tool shed. Grab the uh, charcoal. Yeah. And let's go ahead and eat some of our uh, chicken as will turn out to be the case, all of our chicken. This is not exactly cheap, but it will do the job. And I do have enough charcoal uh, to make more torches. I'd like to think I have enough food. It's respectable. My supply of uh, squid, of raw squid. Let's go ahead and craft some more torches. I could really use them. Now, let's go ahead and take the wood. A fair bit of our wood. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it into sticks. And I'm going to turn a bunch of those sticks into fences. And then I'm going to go ahead and craft some wooden planks as well. And as you can see, I have had trouble with uh, monsters in this space already. So I would not be remiss in first off checking to make sure I don't have for a second time a creeper in the 
Royal Palace. Good. The Royal Palace is not home to any creepers. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of lighting there. And now I think it is time to start the process of building a wall. And I think I'm actually going to start off here. So let's lay this first layer, and then I'm going to alternate uh, on those. I do have to step that down for the obvious problems. So let's alternate from there. Okay, that was misplaced. This won't exactly be the fastest wall build, but let's see if we can't get this built up a bit. And this looks pretty suitable. And now, actually, I'm wondering if I should have built those out of wood or if I should be using steps for those. Or not steps. Fences. Actually, should I... Yeah, let me switch that around. Yeah, that should be a solid wall design, at least for this stage of the game. Why don't I go ahead and get some sleep? Night has fallen. Okay, it's nearly fallen. Give it another few seconds. There we go. And night has fallen. And now the sun has risen once again. So let me go ahead and fix up this section of the wall here. So that... I can get a better sense of what this is going to look like. Let's see here. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Let's see here now. No, I didn't want to do that. I think I want to actually do it like, yeah, like so. There we go. Well, that's uh, better. So let me go ahead and clean this off. Because of the possibility that these may not be where I want them. So let's go ahead. And let me reiterate that the purpose of this wall is to keep enemies out. And there are more than a few enemies that I have to worry about. I mean, is it perfect? Not necessarily. I suppose there may be some enemies that can get in, but not many. Let's see how this looks here. Once I get this section done, And this is probably the longest straight section I've got. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Part of me is thinking I should have ri raised that up another block, but I, I think it will do the job, at least for now. It will keep many of the enemies out of the picture. I will need some time to finish up the wall, however. But before I do that even, I wonder if I wouldn't be remiss. You see those massive trees? All I have is this small hatchet, and it will only take one block of wood at a time. I need a way to get up to the top of that, of those trees, to be able to cut them down. And I think I know just the way to do it. 
Let's go ahead and turn some more logs into sticks, but let's turn these sticks into these ladders. And now what I'm going to do is place these ladders down here. Yeah, and now I'm up quite a bit higher. So let's see if these ladders will actually get me all the way to the top. Well, they'll get me close at least. Go three, two, one, zero. And that's it. Bad news is that's all the ladders I've got. The good news is that's all the ladders I actually need. Because I'm at the top of the tree. So, let me go ahead and cut this tree down. Finish off the walls. Well, the wall is nearly finished. There's just two more things that I feel would make it uh, that much better. The first is some slabs at the top. The idea behind the slabs being, aside from giving it a little bit of visual distinction, and particularly uh, to give a uh, better contrast with the spruce wood, it also prevents mobs from spawning on the wall itself. And I'll go ahead and finish topping off that wall uh, later on. But the other thing I need to do is to craft some uh, gates. Because while having walls around Industrial is all fine and dandy, I already have a couple of areas outside of Industrial that I need to access on a regular basis. I've got the farm down there, which I will check once again. It looks like we are starting to get some things grown, which is good. So, let's go ahead and harvest what I can out of here. Seven wheat is not a bad haul. At least not at this stage. Uh, later on, of course, I'll be looking to automate uh, harvesting from there. And I can get a berry as well. A blueberry. At any rate... With the defense of Industrial sorted out, at least for the time being, I'll need to take some time and give some thought to where I go from here. 